early buyers will become millionaires. Kevin O'Leary talks Bitcoin, Ethereum, and crypto rally. Look, Bitcoin is not a coin, Joe. It's simply software. Ethereum is software. If you okay. own, and bit, you know, HBAR software, if you own Microsoft, if you own Google, why don't you own Bitcoin? It's all software. It's okay. productivity I mean, software. I mean, you own one Bitcoin? You own, I mean, do you have a, a real position in it? Because you're a wealthy guy. I have millions of dollars. 20% okay. of my portfolio is now in cryptocurrencies wow. and blockchain. Hey. Welcome to Interweb Coins, where we cover crypto, the economy, and the people that influence it. We are here to lift the clouds, pull back the curtain, and give you a leg up in the world of crypto. This video is jam-packed with value, so if you're committed to the crypto space, we hope you stay with us until the end. What are the bullish signs that you're seeing? I've seen this movie before. Um, the time to be putting capital to work is when there's blood rushing through the streets. And that's happening in crypto right now. All of these uh, bankruptcies, defaults, changes in management, it's a cleansing that's going on. It's a very difficult time to fund new projects and any valuations that people thought they were gonna get four months ago are being cut in half, sometimes down 60%. But the good ideas and the, the way to look at this, in my view, and, and I'm, you know, I'm fortunate, I, I spent a lot of time teaching graduating cohorts of engineers, uh, you know, MIT, Waterloo, uh, Temple, wherever they, they are, Harvard Business School guys. When you meet those cohorts, a third of the class are entrepreneurial. And so I'm doing this selfishly. I like to see their projects before the VCs do. So I'm sitting in the class and we go out for beer afterwards, whatever. Here's what I've come to. I've, I come to this realization. If you ask them where they want to work, these are the brightest men and women on earth. To get into MIT, you basically need a perfect math score. Mm -hmm. They don't care what country you were born in. You, you've got to be the best of the best. And some of those dudes are very eclectic people, I have to tell you. But they don't want to work in manufacturing anymore. They don't want to work in the existing 11 sectors of the S&P. They want to work on the chain. They believe that the biggest opportunity for them personally is to work in this nascent space that, you know, and, I, and the analogy would be back at the beginning of the internet when only pornography was streamed. That was it. We're at that stage now. And so my argument is to any investor, you can't pour that much intellectual capital into a space and not expect extraordinary outcomes because those are the people that are going to redefine industries using this technology. I believe that and I invest in them. And that's why it's good to put money to work now because every day another cohort comes out. Um, remarkably, we're doing some pretty stupid things. We're, we're throwing them out of the country. They, they should stay here, mm -hmm. but they go and work in the Caribbean islands or the United Arab Emirates, wherever they can go to they're the best of the greatest and the best, and we kick them out. That's nuts, it's a different problem. But the investment thesis is you go where the intellectual capital is going. Kevin O'Leary is known for his astute financial advice, and this phrase is no exception. In an interview with CNBC, he made the bold statement that early buyers of cryptocurrency will become millionaires. He further noted that these types of investments can be risky, but can also bring in huge returns if done correctly. He implored investors to take caution and do their research, but also to get in early if they are able to. O'Leary concluded by saying that while the cryptocurrency market is volatile, it ultimately has the potential for huge returns and could even lead to some investors becoming millionaires. He believes that those who get in now will reap the rewards of this new asset class down the road. O'Leary isn't the only one bullish on cryptocurrency either. Many experts and investors from around the world are investing heavily in virtual currencies such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple and Litecoin. While some see it as an opportunity to get rich quickly, others view it as a long-term investment that can bring significant returns over time. Early buyers of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are the ones that benefit the most. This is because they have been able to purchase the cryptocurrency at a much lower price than what it's currently trading for, meaning they have already made significant profits on their investments. As the price continues to rise, early buyers stand to make even more money. The same is true for other cryptocurrencies as well, such as Ethereum, Ripple, and Litecoin. The key takeaway here is that if you're looking to get involved in cryptocurrency investing, it's important to do your research and get in early if possible. Although the market can be volatile, there is a huge potential for long-term returns and for investors to become millionaires. By investing wisely and getting in early, 
you could be part of the next wave of cryptocurrency millionaires. O'Leary was heavily criticized following the FTX downfall. The businessman was the official spokesman for the bankrupt crypto exchange. Kevin O'Leary defended his role as a spokesman for the collapsed cryptocurrency exchange FTX. In the statement, he said, I was asked to be an endorser of FTX and I agreed. I did not have any ownership in FTX, nor was I involved in its operations or decision-making processes. I believed in the potential of cryptocurrency and was happy to help promote a company that had ambitions to create a secure, safe platform. Despite the collapse of FTX, O'Leary believes that cryptocurrency has potential and hopes that future exchanges learn from their mistakes. He believes this will help create an environment where investors have the confidence to participate in the industry. He concluded his statement by saying, I will continue to be an advocate for cryptocurrency and hope that this experience can help us all move forward. O'Leary has always been bullish on cryptocurrencies. He said that the crypto industry has so much intellectual capacity and that the next genius idea is going to come from the chain community. O'Leary also reminded viewers that Amazon once suffered a correction of 50% on a daily basis for 12 years before it transformed into the giant it is today. Cryptocurrency adoption is growing beyond investors and billionaires. For instance, the Bank of England has opened application for proof of concept CBDC wallet. Last month, the BOE posted a request for applications on the United Kingdom government's digital marketplace. The bank outlined some guidelines for what the proof of concept wallet would have to accomplish. Key deliverables for the project are creating a mobile app for iOS and Android, a website for the wallet, an example merchant website, and the backend infrastructure to serve the wallet website and apps while storing user data and transaction history. According to the bank, the CBDC will be launched by 2030. As the crypto industry continues to expand in Europe, the European G20 leaders' fear grew alongside it. The European G20 officials called for the urgent regulation of crypto conglomerates. Europe's financial leaders said that the so-called crypto conglomerates and exchanges that vertically integrate multiple functions should be regulated as soon as possible. Although the statement didn't cite FTX's collapse, the urgent request for change definitely has something to do with the downfall of the crypto exchange. In conclusion, let's check out today's chart. Looking at the hourly chart of Bitcoin, the digital currency has fluctuated between $16,622 and $17,248 within the past seven days, according to CoinMarketCap. Since Bitcoin has been trading above the 200 moving average, it is generally thought that the cryptocurrency is now moving in bullish momentum. We hope this provides you with a bit more insight into the current state of the crypto space. It is important to see what the industry experts have to say and should be a pivotal part of your research. We want to remind you to continue to do your own research and not take this as financial advice. We hope that we have provided you with some value today. If you feel compelled to reciprocate, please like or subscribe as this helps us positively impact more people like you. If you have yet to get on an exchange or are interested in finding out where we buy our crypto from, check out the video description below. Using our top exchange section to sign up for an exchange can also support the channel. We hope you tune in for future videos.